Da haben es zwei britische Prankstar geschafft, den Ex-Premier Großbritanniens Boris Johnson bloßzustellen. Er gab ihnen ein Online-Interview und was kommt dabei raus? Er ist ein Russlandhasser. Wäre er General in irgendeiner fremden Legion, würde er an der Spitze seiner Truppen in Moskau einmarschieren und die schon fertigen Friedensverträge, äh, naja, die kann man ja einfach durchreißen. Hier enttarnt sich die westliche Wertegemeinschaft in der Person des Wuschelkopfs selbst. The most important thing is to give the Ukrainians the, the means to expel the Russians and We're, we're, we're always too slow, but we're starting to do it now. I'm as passionate a supporter of Ukraine as, as, as you could imagine. And I, I, I often wish I could, I was gifted militarily myself and I could go and, and lead a, uh, you know, a foreign legion in, in, in Ukraine if I, had a, if I was a, a, a general. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not, I've never had that, that training. They have not yet had... Um, A, a mass mobilization and the Ukrainian army that the, the veterans that I've seen are, are people who are quite well struck in years and uh, mature guys and um, they haven't yet called up a lot of their younger people and we should give them the attackums now we should give them the, the yeah. right to, 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 to use um, to, we should take away the, the range limits. It's crazy that yeah. we tell them they can't um, attack uh, Russian forces within Russia when they're building up to attack um, Ukraine. I mean, the, the Russians don't impose any such limits on themselves. That's absolutely insane. And we should help them to take out the Kerch Bridge, take out the Crimea. The, we should give the Ukrainians the, the wherewithal to, to put Crimea in jeopardy. Yeah. I don't think there was ever a, a chance that the Istanbul negotiations were going to lead to a, a lasting peace. Not a chance.